Hey there, YouTube. I'm back. It's your Christiana, and I'm back to you guys with another video. Like I just told you guys, I was on connect. Uh, I decided to make two, I decided to make two videos because you know I haven't made a video in a long time, and I feel like talking. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been going through. So you know. That's the point of making a YouTube, so I can tell you guys what, what we, you know, what a lot of trans girls go through, and, you know, so, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, like, I'm still, I'm, I'm not really nervous, but, you know, I'm not really fully into it. And I just realized, like, I'm not into, you know what, I'm not just fully making videos that long, so I'm still kind of fidgety and be all over. Yeah. That's all. I'm still moving. I haven't stopped moving. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I just about to say? I just about to say something I forgot that quickly. I forgot it that quickly. I hate that. Um, okay, well, I can't remember what I was about to say, but anyway, about the story about the boy I was with before who I'm in now. Me and him, we was, we been talking since last year, um, I really liked him, maybe because he was cute. He was cute, and it really, I don't know, maybe it was just because he was cute. And, you know, I have talked to him and cute people before, but he was just like, not going to lie, he probably was the best looking dude I was talking to, to me, in a way. Other people, you know, to me, he was just so cute to me. I don't know what it was. Like. Then he was, you know, I've dated a lot of tall dudes, but it was like he wasn't. I like I would date and I don't lie. I've dated a couple of tall dudes taller than me, a couple. And most of the I've dated were like they were like right here to me or right here. Right here to right here. I've never dated anybody lower than that. I can't do it. So like from right to my shoulder to up here, I've dated. Well, you know, and above. But not to mean above. Mostly we were right here. Right here. It's a lot of short dudes in this city. I mean, it's like, I guess it's, it's how ones out there, but I don't really run into them. Like, I've been seeing them on a couple of books I've on my own, but I, they don't never message me, and I don't, mess, I don't message people. <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I don't know, but I will, like, a picture or I send you a friend request, and I do that, it means, like, I like you. And if you don't message me, then I'm not gonna message you. Unless you I guess I just unless I just want to. So most of those I just don't message. Most of them message me and I like that. I would rather for them to message me because when they mention me that means they read my profile so that I already know and that you know, they know I already know what they want from me. So when they mention they're gonna let me know what they want from me. So I can be like, No, I'm not down with that or sure. Huh? Depends on what they ask me or what they want from me. Or, you know, it depends. Anyway, <laughs> so me and him was back to the boy. Me and him was talking. Um, it started off for us just being, you know, he just wanted some sex for me. And at the time, I was like, so what? You know, I haven't have had sex in a while, so I was like, sure, why not? But I didn't have a car. He didn't have a car. So me and him never. Like, I, when I say never, we never even kissed. We hugged. That's about it. We never even had sex. Okay, so, uh, we was talking for a couple of months. It's actually two little ones to get back. I didn't know first, him first. We me and talk for a couple of months, and it was Gucci. I mean, we were talking about having sex every time we wanted to. It never would happen because I didn't have a ride. He didn't have a ride, so I was like, you know, so we just talked. He ended up liking me, so we started going together. Um, and then like I think a week after we started going together, he asked me for fifty dollars. That should have been red flag right there. But me being like in denial, I guess, or me just really liking him. That's one thing. It happens to me. I over like somebody. Then, oh, excuse me. I over, like my feelings get attached too quickly. I like him faster than what I supposed to. So me and him, we talked for like I think we talked for two months before we got together. And then we got together and we got the extra fifty dollars. I said sure. I had you know, I gave him some he gave me a hug, blah blah, blah this, that. Okay, so we was talking and like he asked me a year for some money, and this time he asked me for a hundred dollars. I 
gave him a hundred dollars. A hundred. And the only reason I gave him a hundred was because I was like, I like him. He likes me. He's going through a rough time. He, he, he gave me the sad story. He was like, he got hit by garbage. He got hit by garbage trucks. Like he's doing, um, he's doing the way he's talking. I guess you know, garbage people. He's doing them. Um, he was told to get some money back. He said he was gonna pay me everything back, and I was like, cool. You know, that's what's up. So if you need me, I'm your girl. I'm going to help you. So you know, me thinking I was helping him, I I gave, I was giving him money. I was buying him clothes. I, I bought him food. I cooked him food. Um, what else? What else I do for him? That was about it. He and he never done nothing. He just ah, oh, thank you, hug, hug, thank you, hug, hug. Um, you wanna come fuck? I can't. I don't have a ride. You know all this stuff. I should. It should have been the same. But I was like, oh my god, he's gonna fuck up time right now. I'm just going to be that down and this bitch is going to hold you down, you know. You got nothing I'm here for you. Mm. This is the first thing I find out. He was like, me and one of the friends on Facebook, you know, yeah. But I was friends with one of his friends. I was friends with a girl that was friends with him on Facebook. So, when I, you know, when I was around her, I sometimes see his statuses and stuff on her page. So, I said, go to his page. She didn't know. That I was talking to him. So I just go to the I thought he was cute. Or when she's not around, you know, she leaves the page up so I get on her page and go to his page. Cause, you know, I just wanted to see what's up. Like what you know and he was like a status about me. He was like, I am in down this bitch when she, when, she, when I need something she got me. I was like, for sure. And then it was like on his page I thought he, he had a little girl who I think is a page. Cause you know, I just said she's a big page. I've never seen her before. We put, we used to follow them to the same high school. I've never seen her before. So anyway, he was calling her baby this and baby that. And so I found out that that is the one about me, except for a couple. When he, when he was talking about if I, she, if I need something, she got me. But a lot of other things was for her. Man, so I talked to him about that. He said the mom didn't like it. This is that she's some girl. He thinks she's a fake page too. He's messing around with her. I said, okay, cool. I let it go. You know, I let it go. Okay. So, we still going to, I'm still buying this nigga money. You know, buying, buying money. I'm still giving this nigga money and shit like that right there. Okay, it come around to it. My birthday coming up. I didn't buy this flyers, dress, and everything. Me and I was supposed to be going out for my birthday, but you know, I bought this flyers, dress, and everything for, you know, I was ready to have my hair done. I was going to go out and have me a good time. I was like, with my boyfriend, me, we're going to go to the movies tonight. Okay. So, you know, the house burned down and shit. I'm sorry, I'm cutting. I probably gets me really upset because he, he played me hard. So, me and him was supposed to go on, and all that, you know, he seemed like he really wanted to go. He was like, okay, I can't wait to see your dress. Can't wait to see you. I can't wait for us to go to the movies and have a really date and all that stuff. Ouch. <laughs> so, half burned down. I was going dress, so I didn't lose it, but it was small damage, so I had to to clean it. So, I didn't want to go to, on a date. Because, first, you know, my hands were down. Why did I go on a date when my house just burned down? That day? You feel me? So, you know, he was so sympathetic and all that stuff. And he was like, okay, we're not going to go on a date right now. How about, I didn't hear from him, like, a whole month that I was in, this, in the hotel. He didn't know, message me, and he didn't text me, nothing, nothing at all. And then, the one time he did text me, he asked for some, he asked for some money. I was like, my house was burned down. I heard from you in the whole month, and you asked me for some money. I told him, no, that's not going to happen. I can help you get a job, but money is out the, money is out the question. So he said, yeah, help me get a job. My job is all about hiring people. I tell everybody that my job stays hiring people. RGIS.com, you want a job. If you want a job, <laughs> go to RGIS.com, R-G-I-S, just like that, dot com. 
fill out applications for whatever state you're in and you get a job. Seriously. My job stays hiring people. So, I did his, I did his application for him. I told my boss, he was my cousin, he don't work, and he, you know, he need a job. So, she was going to hire him. He, he just had to come to the interview. She was going to hire him, period. They going to hire anybody to go to the job. They just want you to come to the interview so they can let you know what you're going to have to do. So, he had the interview. She said he interviewed twice. I asked him one time, no, have you heard back? He said no. So, I said, okay. She sent me an interview twice, and she called me and like, what's up with him? And I was like, he said he ain't got no interview, nothing from back from y'all. She said that she did. She sent him twice. So, I hit him up, and he was like, oh, yeah, I got it. Um, he said the interview. He was like, I'm not going to get there. So, like, I got him a ride to get there. His cousin, I got his cousin the money so he can get there. Okay. Okay. So I had to go to work one day for his interview. I come home. I'm messaging him. I ain't getting no messages back from him. He ain't messaging me back. I asked my boss, did he come to the interview? She told me no. So I messaged him and I had that. He ain't messaging me back at all. So I go on the website that me and him met on, which was tag. He deleted me his well, he deleted his page on tag, but I don't even know yet. And I didn't I didn't have no way in contact with him and nothing like that. So the niggas really got out of me. I got this nigga up to at least two hundred dollars not two hundred dollars. I spent at least five hundred or more dollars on this nigga. And that's what he do. I try to be a good hand job. And that's what I get. Okay. I look for the wrong. I seen him actually yesterday. I was over. What's her name? Y'all don't know her name. I saw my friend y'all. I'm not about to tell y'all her name. But y'all don't really need to know it. Anyway, I was over her house. Mm. I seen him yesterday. Guess what he do? He gonna uh, message me. Guess what I did? I looked at him. I looked at my phone. And I put it away. And he was like shaking his head. Like I was a gay fuck. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> what the hell? I don't need you. Yeah, I like that your motherfucking ass, but you want no love. Like, he had me wrapped around his finger or whatever. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that's what happened with me and him. Um, well, it was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but he was, it, that really just kicked me off. So I don't really know what else I wanted to say. But, um, yeah, that's it. I'm about to go. I got upset. <laughs> I got to come out the damn house. She was in his house up, or not what well, I should have his house up. Go to his house and watch some drama, which I've been wanting to do, but I'm not going to be that type of lady. I'm just going to leave him alone, let him live his life. I'm going to live my life. I got a new boyfriend right now. He, he be like, I told him about all this. He's like, fuck that nigga. That was no real nigga. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's what I said. My nigga said, fuck the other nigga. He down for me. He said, fuck the other nigga. He down for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to go. I want to thank you. Who are subscribed to me, not me. But thank you for the ones who are. You know, I really appreciate it. And I like, like, I didn't really know. I was getting comments on my videos and all that. Ugh. I didn't know I was getting comments on my videos and all that. Like, it was a lot of people that watch my videos. And I did not realize it. And one day I was on there and I was looking at a lot of comments and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I got comments. And I didn't know I had any. Like, I've only got, like, one, two, maybe three comments before. And then I get back on there. I'm seeing more comments. I'm like, oh my God, you are really watching my video. They really are feeling what I'm saying. They really coming. So, <laughs> it made me so happy. Um, and one person in particular who I just love, I can't remember the name right now, but she, she be like, get up. Bitch, she love my voice. She said, "Hood bitch, that's what's up." She loves my voice. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I don't know your name, but I'm shouting out to you, the one who's like, "Hood 
the fish, you know, you love, you love my voice. Shout out to you, the one who loves my voice with the fish. <laughs> Let me go. It's been nice talking to you guys. Thank you for subscribing to me. I hope I get more. Please get more. Cause I'm really going to start doing more videos. But anyway, I'm about to go. Love you guys. Have a nice day, night, wherever you are. Mwah. Mwah. Sweat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mwah.